Hey guys, it's Becky with Design Bundles and I am super excited to be here today to tell you about a great new software installment that we're doing. This will be the first lesson of many to come and we are talking about Designscape. Now Designscape is for all of you gold plus members, all right, if you have a plus membership of the gold level. And it was super easy. Today we are looking at using smart objects to create mockups and I was super impressed and I know you will be too. Okay guys, so this really awesome designing tool is tucked away. I'm on the designbundles.net page, right? But I'm gonna come up here and go to my Plus membership. Now, for those of you who don't know about the Plus membership, it is a monthly membership that you get and you get in exchange a certain number of credits that can be used on Plus items. And if you happen to be a gold member, then you get access to Designscape, which is relatively new from Design Bundles, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about. So let me just show you the different levels that you get because I know that's gonna be a question you guys have. Okay guys, so here are your membership levels. You have the bronze membership for eight bucks, silver membership for 12 bucks, and the gold membership for 19. Now, of course, I'm a gold member and I really love getting uh, the products from my Plus membership and it almost feels like I'm getting them for free. I know, I know that, you know, you pay for the membership, but I'm just saying, you know, it really feels that way. Like I love using my Plus membership. Um, and, you know, of course, I get 15% off my purchases and I get all these um, other bonuses here. I really love getting the um, event after party deals because I'm a huge believer in the the dollar days and the dollar events. And knowing that I don't have to rush to, <laughs> to go get those and check out is like a huge relief for me because I can participate in the after party um, and still get access to all those amazing deals. But what I'm rolling back around to is that the gold membership is what gives you access to the Designscape editing software. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't use a lot of editing softwares. I, um, I I use primarily Silhouette Studio and I do my mockups in Silhouette Studio. And what I wanted to show you is something brand new that even I haven't been able to do till now. And I just got, um, actually it was a comment on a YouTube video that said, hey Becky, is there a way for me to do a mockup on a Tumblr that looks realistic? And of course my initial answer was like, no, because I know in Silhouette Studio I can't do that. But then I started to remember that there are fantastic designers on design bundles that they post smart objects. And I knew that smart objects could be used for that purpose. I mean, they're, they're these great mockups and they have a much more realistic look than what you can just achieve by overlaying your image. So I was like, Hey, let me check this out. As soon as I saw the, um, Designscape come up on the Plus membership, I said, I bet you I can use those smart objects in Designscape. And ta-da, yes you can. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to click on the banner right here and it will automatically open up um, the, and of course you can save this website, you can bookmark it or whatever you need to do, uh, but designbundles.net backslash Designscape module, okay? Now, obviously I'm logged into my account, so it's gonna recognize that I'm logged in. If you're not logged in and you try to use the shortcut or you're not a Gold Plus member and you try to use this, then it's not gonna let you in, okay? So I'm just throwing that out there. You know, you have to be logged in and you have to be a Gold Plus member. So the first thing I'm gonna do, first let me say, as soon as I found this out, because I had to experiment with a smart object I already had. Um, I had recently downloaded a mock-up that came with a smart object, I just didn't use it because it wasn't what I needed. Um, so I tried it out and it was super awesome. So of course I had to go out and buy all these smart object mock-ups now um, because I was just really that thrilled with it. But So we're gonna go to File and Open. And in my downloads, I'm going to locate um, one of my, my recent uh, downloaded smart objects. And this is my tall skinny tumbler. And see this PSD extension here? That's going to be my smart object. Okay, so there we go. So this is loading. And um, you'll see, I'm gonna call them instructional names down here. It'll say insert full wrap here, right? So I'm gonna double click and it's gonna open my wrap. So now I'm going to go to File, Open in Place, 
And this is where I'm going to locate the actual design that I want to use. And I'm going to use this Santa tumbler because it's ridiculously cute. And then of course I can just enlarge it. So I'm going to enlarge it to fit my design, my area. Okay, then of course I can center it. And I get those little grid lines to tell me where the center is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and save and see how it has smart object in uh, parentheses there. You can also use control S once you get more comfortable with it. And now when I click back over, do you see how it looks like it is tapered to my tumbler? I mean, I was really just blown away, blown away. So it is really that easy. You bring it in, you stretch it to fill your design, and then it fills in and it literally looks like it is wrapping around my tumbler. So I'm just over the moon with that. So, okay, let's try another one. Okay, so this is a smart object again, and it has three sides. Okay, so I'm gonna double click and see how it's breaking it down here for me. So I'm gonna go to file, open in place. I'm gonna go back to that Christmas bundle, but this time I'm gonna use this cute gingerbread, right? So cute. So I'm gonna stretch him out. And then if I click back over, oh wait, nope, just kidding. I forgot, I wanna go to file, save smart object. Now if I click back over, oh my gosh, wasn't that the easiest? I mean like I am so, ridiculously happy with how easy that is. Okay, so let's say, let's say I wanted to add, let's see, file open in place. I wanna add a quote to this. Now remember, this part is just for the mock-up, okay? So if I was in fact going to add a quote, um, I would not do that in this section. That's not what I'm showing you. But I'm just showing you, if you wanted to add a quote, you guys, I just giggled and giggled at myself for this. <laughs> It says official um, cookie tester, right? I think it's funny because the gingerbread man is a cookie. So I'm, I'm just gonna position that. There we go, there's, there's my center line. Okay, file, save smart object. So now if I come back over here, there is my design, yay! Okay, so I don't know if you guys are celebrating over there or not, but I am definitely celebrating over here. You know, I'm, you guys may already know about this or you may use designing softwares that do this, but I was completely blown away. And really the Tumblr thing was the first time that I ran into that was like, man, I really can't make um, realistic mock-ups on that because you're always gonna be able to tell it's a flat design on a Tumblr. But with this one that has the shading, that just makes it really look like it's wrapping around. I mean, I feel like you just cannot get enough of that. So, you know, surely I'm not alone here. You guys let me know in the comments what you think, but I am thoroughly impressed. Oh, so let me show you one last thing. Say I'm going to send this to a customer or I'm going to put this on my website or say I, um, Maybe I design custom Tumblr wraps and I want to use this image to sell my design, right? Because that's what I use my mockups for. I'm going to go to file and export and I can export as a PNG. And then of course I can choose my width and whatnot. I'm just going to choose save. So basically when I'm saving, it's I'm downloading it to my computer. So when it opens up, there is my image and a PNG and I can do with this whatever I need to do if I want to um, add some text or anything like that. Of course, I mean, I could have done that before I exported it, but you get what I'm saying. So um, that is how you can easily use smart objects to create your own mockups in the new um, designing software by Design Bundles, aka Designscape. So there we go. Well guys, what did you think about our tutorial? Isn't Designscape pretty neat? I'm really looking forward to going through this uh, lesson by lesson with you. I think it's gonna be a great tool and I really appreciate that Design Bundles has provided that for us. So of course, you know, you just cannot have too many tools in your crafting arsenal. So um, again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any tutorial requests or anything you wanna see in Designscape, make sure you leave that in the comments below. If you're a gold member, you absolutely have to go try it out. If you are not, plus member already, then hey, we do have a free trial, all right? So you can check it out too. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys stopping by today. 
course, any questions, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, right? That's always something I ask for you guys. And absolutely, you have to share this one with a friend. Now I know you have a friend or two that is on design bundles and they would really appreciate checking out this tutorial. So, all right guys, thanks again. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time.